Okay, everybody, welcome back to another tutorial of Posh Easy Win. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be kind of different. We're going to go over a few different things, but we're going to do some testing on an endpoint, do some malicious activity, and we're going to see if we see it over the wire. And then we're going to use Posh Easy Win to pull back the uh, Sysmon EVTX file from the endpoint and then use a special new feature, a chainsaw. I'll provide that link in the video below so you can explore the GitHub page for that. Shout out some credit to the, uh, to the individual who created that nifty little binary for us to use with uh, EVTX files and Sysmon rules or uh, Sigma rules. Uh, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So on the endpoint that we're going to be running some uh, test on, you can simply use APT simulator. Now, you may want to go ahead and disable Windows Defender if you have some sort of antivirus or whatnot. Uh, in this particular instance, I did and I ran it as administrator. And essentially what I'm doing is uh, I wanted to do the uh, command and control uh, test, which is number two. And uh, I'll provide another description in the link below where you can uh, grab that bat file and all the instructions are there for you to be able to test on your endpoint. And essentially what we're doing here is we're trying to make sure, you know, our sensors picking up what we're doing and also are trying to use a, uh, a, a, a PowerShell tool to see if we can grab back specific files from the endpoint uh, without being intrusive, like placing an agent on the endpoint. Maybe we don't have that capability, but we have the ability to actually query the endpoint and pull back data. So we're, we're, we're going at it from two different uh, angles here. So essentially, once you get the uh, the bat file uh, extracted, uh, you can go ahead and if you can run all the tests if you want to test uh, tune your detection mechanisms. But essentially for this one, I'm just gonna do uh, number two, command and control. And what it'll do is it'll try to reach out to specific different um, uh, domains. And what you'll see over the wire is something similar to this. And if you see something like this over your sensor, uh, it's probably an uh, indicator you need to dig a little deeper and see what's going on uh, inside your network to either rule out any false positives or perhaps you know uh, start digging uh, into the endpoint and seeing what's going on. Now, for this particular uh, tutorial, we see something over the wire. Now it's time to go and pull back those EBTX files and analyze them using a chainsaw and Sigma rules. So here's Posh Easy Win. We've already gone over how to manage credentials and import hosts from Active Directory and import it into our tree view. And we have a hit over the wire from uh, Win 10 uh, 04 again, our favorite host. Uh, so what we want to do now, I've already pulled back a, uh, a uh, EVTX file for Sysmon, but I'll show you how to do it again. So right here, you'll see a snifty little chainsaw icon. You click on event logs and you go down right here and you can select from any number of EVTX files that may be enabled for logging on the endpoint. You can view these in Event Viewer as well on your own uh, workstation to see if these uh, particular EVTX files or these event fields are there. So for this instance, we're gonna uh, grab Sysmon. <clears throat> so essentially a select a Sysmon operational and then log name selection. And then you have your endpoint selected and then you can go ahead and execute. Now, I've already done this uh, and I already have a uh, EVTX file for Win1004 already pulled back. Press OK. And then you can go and view an event viewer. You can also view the file, make sure it's there. Or you can view it with Chainsaw. And here's this right here. Now, uh, shout out to uh, see this uh, Twitter handle right here, Frantic and Frantic Typing uh, by F-Secure uh, Counter Sip. Uh, we, we, we were fiddling around with this uh, and I said, hey, Dan, this would be a great feature to add to, to Posh Easy Win. If we don't have agents on the endpoint and we need to pull back specific EVTX files, it'd be great if we could do that on the fly. We talked about it, he integrated it. So shout out to Dan Komnick, 
for uh, integrating that piece. But as you can see right here, um, this is the detection rule. And if anything catches your eye, you may want to dig a little bit deeper. But off the bat, we can see that there was some sort of uh, bat file. We can see there was some sort of uh, proc dump 64.exe associated with this particular file and this uh, directory path. So we may want to maybe go a little bit deeper. Uh, and if we want to go on to the next set of rules that it hit on, you can just click the little X, it'll jump to the next part. Okay, get some more detection rules. All right. And we'll start getting into some other uh, WMI uh, detection rules for uh, Sigma. And if you start scrolling down and something catches your eye, say, hmm, this isn't right. This shouldn't be happening on the endpoint. This may prompt you to do additional investigations. So as you can see here, uh, we have some curling going on. And I think right here somewhere we see where it reached out to that free chicken now, uh, free chicken killer, yeah, free now chicken killer.com. So as you can see right here, uh, definitely a really powerful feature uh, behind uh, Posh Easy Win for you to analyze uh, event logs if you don't have agents on the endpoint and for you to kind of bring more to the fight you know, for an analytic perspective. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Uh, go out, try to uh, test it out in your own environment and see if it works for you. And in the next video, we'll be going over how to actually pull files back from the endpoint using Posh Easy Win to continue on with that deep dive. All right, hope you guys like this video. And by the way, uh, if you have time, do so, go to uh, Daniel Connick's GitHub page, like, subscribe, follow along. I'll be making more of YouTube videos about all the nifty features and things that you can use with this tool. And uh, please, you know, if you have any feature requests or any comments or you know, just want to chat with Dan and you know, say, hey, look, you know, I really like your tool. Just give feedback. Please hit him up. Uh, he's always available. And uh, in the next video, we'll go over some more nifty features for Posh Easy Win. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Take it easy.